Welcome to another Illustrator tutorial. In this one, we are going to do some Pathfinder work in creating a postage stamp. So we're going to do new again, and we're going to call this stamp. And again, we're going to choose landscape as the orientation and just click OK. There we go. And to start, we're just going to draw out the rectangles, or the squares actually, using the rectangle tool and we're just going to drag it out and I'm holding down obviously the shift key to make it a perfect square and you're going to make the larger portion of the square first and I'm just going to move it so that it's relatively centered and then I'm going to draw another square in the center and don't worry if it's not perfect okay so I'm going to make it slightly smaller because I got to scallop it out now don't worry if it's not perfectly centered because you can easily align them if you select both objects. I held down the shift key to select the second object and I get my aligning options and I'm just going to click here, center it vertically, uh, horizontally and center it vertically there. And whoop, did that do it? There we go. There we go. Now it's perfectly centered. Now what we want to do to make a postage stamp is to produce little scallops here. And the way I'm going to show you how to do this is by using a whole bunch of little circles. So what I'm going to do is draw a circle like this. And how big is the scalp going to be? About maybe that big. Okay. And let's just move it down so it's perfectly on the line. You can see that it's touching now. And I'm just going to copy and paste a few of these. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste a bunch of these. So I'll put it here, another one there, another one here, and another one here. Make sure it's online. This one wasn't quite on the line, so make sure it's on the line. And let's see, is that enough? Should I make one more? Let's see. Keep on moving over. Hmm, don't think that's enough space for another one. I guess I'll have to stick with this. Okay, so I'm going to select all of these together. And then what I want to do is I want to distribute them evenly. So I believe distribute center that distributes them evenly. You see the slight move there. Now, since this is a single, I'd like this to be a single object. I'm going to keep this as a single object and just move it into place. And to make it a single object, I can go to Object, Group. Or you could do Command-G to do that. Now I'm just going to move it relatively into the center. Which I think is actually almost perfect there. Okay. So I'm just going to do Command-R. Pull up my guides. And what I'm going to do is drag out a guide at the end of each of these. And I don't think it's quite perfect because I think this is, oh no, that's about perfect. It's about even on each side of that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this grouped object and then paste and then place this grouped object down here and make sure it follows the guides. There we go, close enough. And if it's not quite perfect, you can use the arrow keys. But I think I was better before. There we go. Okay, now that's gonna do the top and the bottom, but I also need the sides. So what am I gonna do with that? Well, if, if I paste another object, I can actually just go onto here and with the selected, Wait till I get this arrow. Hold down the shift key and move 90 degrees. Okay, now move this whole object over to here. And again, try and align it nicely with the square. I'm just a little bit further like that. And again, do the guide. Put it right where it's supposed to be on top of there. And grab another guide down there along there and again it's almost perfectly even and now I'm going to copy this one command C and then command V and again place it over here 
and align again as close as possible, which is good. Now I bet you're wondering how we're going to make the postage stamp. Well, this is where we get involved with Pathfinder. So if we go up to Window and choose Pathfinder, Pathfinder allows us to do many, many different things. So if you look at this palette over here, whoops, I took it off. I don't want to do that. Grab the top one. Let's move it over to here. Okay, so you've got a whole bunch of different choices here. You've got Unite, Minus Front, Intersect, Exclude. All these ones have some really cool functions. Right now, what we're going to use is Minus the Front. Okay, so if I click here on this object, which is one complete object, and I also choose the back object, which is the back square, and I choose minus, watch what happens. There we go. So if you take a look at that, I've produced the cool scallop that I was looking for. So I'll do this one next, and the object, and so you can see it again, click, and there it goes again. Now you notice that this object has come in front now, so I'm just going to send it in back, this square, because it's on top of these. So what I'm going to do is just arrange, I just right click to there, arrange and then send to the back so that these are on top again. Now I'm just going to click this and select the back object and do that again. Looks like I have to send it to the back again. And I'll do this. Select the back object, choose minus on the Pathfinder again, and again I have to send it to the back. <laughs> send it to the back. Now it is possible to select all these scallops at once and then select the other object because all the scallops were, all the circles were on top of the square and just click this. But I want to repeat it over and over again so you can see it. But what we have left is, and if we remove all the, the guides, oops, wrong one. Uh, semicolon. There we go. Then we have what would be a postage stamp.